Ever since I can remember, I've loved fishing. But not just fishing, I loved boats. So when I was two years old, my parents bought me my very first boat. It may be small, but that sparked an idea that an eight-year-old had just only a few years later. So when I was only eight years old, I had walked enough dogs and mowed enough lawns to buy my very own boat. It was an eight-foot raft with a tiny trolling motor on the back. And that boat was pretty sweet at the time. Until I was 11 years old. I had expanded my dog walking business, mowed more lawns than I'd ever mowed in my life and I upgraded again to my very first aluminum boat. Only 12 feet long with six horsepower on the back. It was my first gas engine and uh, my first real big boat. It was at this point I knew I'm gonna love fishing for the rest of my life. Now when I turned 16, I got my driver's license. I was still doing a bunch of landscaping, even doing some roofing at the time and I had saved up enough money to upgrade from my 12 foot boat to a 16 foot bass tracker. This was my very first bass boat. It had a bass deck, a back deck, a front trolling motor, uh, it had a 60 horsepower on the back, and this boat was really sweet until I turned 20. And that's when I bought the Red Rocket 1.0, a 17 foot Ranger, I think it was a 1998, with a 115 on the back. This boat has been to 13 different states, countless trips, and um, it's been a trooper for all. Fast forward to 2020. 2020 was the first year I got to fish out of a brand new boat, the AVX 1980, 2020 edition by Vexus Boats. We went everywhere with that boat. We went down south, we went up north, we went east, we went west. We caught big fish, a lot of adventures, fished a lot of tournaments, and had a lot of fun along the way. But that brings us to today. And today starts a brand new chapter with a brand new boat. And I'm so excited to share it with you. So, let's get to it. So yeah, this is my new boat. It is time, it is time, it is time. Let's walk through this freaking beauty. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I am so fired up to show you guys the brand new 2021 AVX 1980 by Vexus Boats. This is basically the same models I ran last year, except uh, it's got some upgrades. Vexus did some upgrades to this model from 2020 to 2021, and it's just, it's an extremely dialed boat, and I just, I, I feel very blessed to be in this boat right now. So I, I'm pumped to show you it all the way from the back to the front. I'm gonna probably turn my camera, or turn my mic around on my camera, and just slowly walk you through it. And uh, yeah, this, this is a brand new chapter of boating, fishing, competing, and running a beautiful boat. So let's get right to it. I gotta hit the Before we get into kind of the details and open this whole bad boy up, I have to give a huge shout out to the amazing folks at Intune Marine right here. They've had my back since day one. Uh, doesn't matter if it's work on my old motors, helping me with old trailers, helping me rig up graphs and my older boats to helping me buy new boats. This boat right here and my amazing experience kind of working with a boat dealership would not be possible without the folks at Intune Marine. Their business is flourishing. They just built a brand new showroom. I don't care if you wanna buy a new boat, a used boat, if you need dock and lift help, if you need anything done to your boats, please call them. They're amazing people. They're fishermen themselves and it's truly no surprise why their business is just growing and flourishing at the rate that it is because they're great people. They care about the customer first and they've always had my back and I know they'll have your back too. So I'll link them down below. Please check out the folks at Intune Marine and also, a huge shout out to the folks at Vexus Boats and Suzuki Motors. But we'll get to that later. Let's, let's go look at the boat. There she is, the AVX 1980. What the 1980 means is it's 19 and a half feet long 
and it's their aluminum AVX model. So this boat is aluminum on the outside, but it's fiberglass infused, and it has a very special hull in it. It is an aluminum boat, but I feel like it drives a lot more like a glass boat. You can kind of see how their hull is designed. It's not like a flat bottom John boat. The hull is a little bit more like a glass boat, and it does great in big water, and it cuts through really skinny water well too. This, this is a boat I suggest everybody needs to drive, or at least test drive. Doesn't matter if you want to buy a new boat or not, you, you need to drive the sucker and carve with her and try and put her on her side because the handling in this boat is pretty incredible. So we'll start from the back. Before we even talk about the actual boat, one thing that's different this year is I ordered a trailer with dual axle. So this is really important to me. I go on a lot of long trips and I feel like I'm much safer when I do have four wheels back here opposed to two. I think this is just an addition you can add on. They normally come just with single axle and if you're just gonna be fishing around the house, you'd totally be fine. But if you do wanna travel across the country, I would suggest a dual axle trailer. So, to the caboose of the boat. This is a beautiful Suzuki 150. I'm super excited. These motors are very reliable, very quiet. So I'm kind of excited to rip it up this year with this. It's a four stroke. And like I said, very quiet, very fuel efficient. Besides that, right next to the caboose are these beautiful Minn Kota Raptors. This is brand new for me this year. I've never ran any sort of shallow water anchor, so this will be my first one. And the Minn Kota Raptors are pretty bad to the bone. I'm still kind of getting the, used to all their features. I just have this around my neck right now, but you can see that, boom. <laughs> That's awesome. So I've got a little controller around my neck. I've got a controller right there by the console, and then I also have two foot pedals for the Raptors up front. These are unbelievable. I'll link these down below, and if you kind of watch some promotional videos on these, they really kind of tell you about how they're a little bit different than other shallow water anchors. And we'll get into that more later, but either way, the Raptors are unbelievable. Bring these bad boys back up. So sweet. For those of you out there that might be wondering what these are used for at all, is um, it's exactly like they sound. They're shallow water anchors. And basically, if you're fishing docks or you're fishing any shallow cover or structure, uh, you can just boom, with one tap of the button, lock your boat in there, and then you can be flipping the weeds right in front of you, flipping the dock right in front of you. You don't have to worry about getting blown out of your spot or spooking fish in shallow water. They're, they're really a game changer, especially tournament bass fishing. So from there, let's move forward. We'll hop in here. So the back deck is giant. There's a lot of space back here for one or two people to fish, and they have a lot of compartments that can hold a lot of stuff. So right back here, we'll start. This is where the batteries are. This is where the Raptor pumps are. Um, this is where everything's controlled. And this is awesome. There is a lot of weight back here. So in the future, I might upgrade these batteries to like a Dakota Lithium, something smaller, something a little bit lighter. And, uh, but yeah, the amazing folks at Intune Marine did a wonderful job. They rigged late into the night to make this possible. There's three or four mechanics there that really kind of went above and beyond to make sure this boat was ready for demo day. And you guys know exactly who you are. So thank you so much. And yeah, this is, this is very clean. Intune Marine rigged this whole boat. I could never do any of that. Moving on right underneath the motor. I forgot to mention is a jack plate so I can adjust that from right here and that brings the whole motor up and down on a big plate this can help you get a little bit more performance out of your motor and it can also help you get on pad in shallow water so i can jack that jack plate all the way up trim my motor down and it doesn't matter if i'm in like two feet of water i can kind of hop up on pad so right here the first compartment they all have drain plugs in them down here so you can transfer this to a cooler or if water gets in there or whatnot. But a big difference between Vexus boats and other aluminum boats is they're fiberglass infused. So this is all fiberglass in here. So the quality build of this boat is, is much higher opposed to other aluminum boats, in my opinion. All these little latches have locks in them, which are unbelievable. I keep a lot of expensive stuff in here. I can lock it up at night. Doesn't matter if I'm on the road, I always feel like I'm safe. Same deal over here. Just got my little fire extinguisher here but i'll probably use this as day boxes like i'll put clothing in here i'll probably put my blackfish rain suit i'll put a variety of stuff that i'm going to need for the day or the situation or the place that i'm at right here they're giant live wells and one thing i really like about these live wells is if you are a multi-species angler like say you're going for trophy walleye this does pull out 
and it's one giant live wall then. So you could put a big wall in there if you wanted to keep it in there to keep it or mount it or just take pictures of it. But you can divide it up and it is a tournament grade live wall right here. Very deep, very quality. Moving back, they've got a little bit more upgraded seats this year, very comfy. They've got an upgraded box right here. Last year was a little bit smaller. Looks like they made it a little bit wider, a little bit stronger. This is like my cell phone wallet box. Right now I've just kind of got my iPilot in here. This controls my front trolling motor. I've got a bunch of different Lake Master chips in here. This is where I'll probably put my phone, my wallet, anything that I want to keep right next to me that I want to keep very, very safe. Kind of got a big old handle here. On the right side of the boat, this is an upgrade too. They put in like a, a boat buckle here to the sides. So if you got buddies out here and they have a lot of rods, you can put a lot of rods in the side of the boat and boat buckle them right in there. Moving on, this floor down here, kind of in the cockpit area is not carpet. This is an additive you can add in your boats. Some people nowadays have been getting this kind of material on their whole entire boat. And I just kind of wanted to try it down here. I really like it a lot. You can just kind of pressure wash and get the dirt right up. Coming on over to the actual cockpit area. Dang. I've got pro trims right here. This controls the jack plate. This controls the tilt and trim. I've got all my gauges. I got everything from bilge to my live wheels over here. Even my, even my horn. Um, yeah, I've got the Suzuki throttle right here. I do have a hot foot underneath, which is super sweet. It's like a gas pedal for your engine. And then right here, probably one of the biggest additions on the rig this year is running two graphs at the council. And I'm pretty fired up about that. These are Hummingbird Helix 12s. I'll go into more detail on kind of why I chose these models and these sizes and why I think I need two at the back. You don't need two at the back, but I'm competing at a little bit higher level this year. So I'm excited to kind of put them to the test. Holding up both the Hummingbird Helix 12s. I don't know how well you can see it or not is a ProSize Outdoors Decket mount. And this thing is bad to the bone. I'm pretty good friends with the owner of the company. It's my good buddy, Scott. Brandon Polnick runs one of these. These things are absolutely bad to the bone, freaking sturdy, and they should be. If you're in big water and you got a lot of money in graphs, you don't want these suckers going anywhere. So ProSize Outdoors Decket mount, I'll link it down below. Please check it out. An upgraded kind of day box right here, your step box. Uh, last year, it was just kind of one little box and this year they added tool holders off to the side they kind of made a little bit different mold and weld and it's very sturdy i think this is the only box that's not latched and waterproof right here this is just like what i would throw a sandwich in or random stuff or maybe put my life jacket in here when i'm on the road you've got your big center rod locker i don't use this one as a rod locker i use it as a tackle locker I put a variety of my tackle in here right now. I'm heading down south here soon, but yeah, I got just a bunch of lure lock boxes. You could put big long rods in here, but like I said, it's just a giant storage area for my tackle. Wonderful. Off to the side is the actual rod locker. That's what I'm gonna use it for. You could use it for storage, but they've got rod tubes up in there. Very long rod locker. I think it can hold up to an eight foot rod. I'm not 100% sure, but I've never had a rod that didn't fit in here. Over here on the right side of the front deck is a beautiful little cooler. Got a bunch of waters and Mountain Dews in there. This is awesome. You can pack this thing to the brim. It's got obviously a little drain in the bottom so you can fill it with ice and it'll slowly drain out as it melts. Very good cooler and it's awesome having a cooler built right in the boat. Over here on this side, I kind of just use this for plastic storage. You could use it for just about anything. I got a bunch more lure lock boxes up in there and everything's labeled. Hopefully it stays disorganized all year long, but a lot of storage in this rig. A lot, a lot of storage. This is probably what I love best about this boat is just how big the front deck really is. I can be up there running the troll motor. I can have a buddy right here. We can both be flipping off the front. It's just a lot of room to bass fish. As I move forward in the front, I've got a recessed foot pedal here. Here's those two buttons for the Minn Kota Raptors in the back. A Minn Kota 112 Altrex, 36 volt. And then both my Helix 10s from last year, I moved them up here. And one of them is dedicated just to Hummingbird 360 now. A lot of new electronic toys on here this year. They have a lot of capabilities. I'll be kind of going over that as we get into actual fishing videos this summer. But yeah, this is, 
This is unbelievable. A beautiful rig that I'm already very comfortable with. A spicy motor on the back, spicy electronics. Vexus 1980. Now all we gotta do left is name ya. I've been, I've been into fishing my entire life. I never, ever, 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 ever in a million years ever thought I would be inside a brand new bass boat. And it's, it's kind of surreal, to be honest. And, I, and I'm not gonna sit here and, and tell you things that maybe you guys don't care about, but I just want you to know this channel, this boat, and these adventures and these videos, they, they mean a lot to me. They mean the freaking world to me. And um, this is all I ever wanted to do my whole entire life is just make my own fishing shows, have experience with friends and loved ones and, and new people and, and capture them on video and then put them out to the world. I, I had no idea YouTube would be a thing ever. I had no idea. I, I really had no, I, I wanted to have my own TV show when I was a kid and that's all I really knew growing up. But um, the opportunity to do YouTube and, and make content for other people, make content for myself, it's, it's truly, it's, it's a dream come true. So thank you guys so much. Thank you so much to the amazing folks at Intune Marine. The mechanics worked day and night to get this thing done in time for this spring. And um, I, couldn't be, I couldn't be more grateful. Uh, Intune Marine has really treated me like family since day one, back when I was bringing old boats there and they were working on them. Uh, everybody from the sales reps to the front office people to the owners of the company. Um, I don't know. I, I've had a lot of amazing people in my life be so good to me and I've just um, I'm just really grateful uh, for the opportunity and I know this year is going to be the best year yet. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I've got some things planned and other things I've left wide open just to kind of see where where the adventure takes me and I'm excited to meet so many of you this summer I'm excited to bring you the best videos I possibly can I'm gonna fish hard I'm gonna film hard I'm gonna edit hard and I'm gonna hopefully tell a good story along with maybe teaching some of the things that I learned along the way and um, it's this channel I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes and that all comes back to you guys for supporting this channel in the first place so thank you so much I truly appreciate it um, thank you to Intune Marine, thank you to Vexus Boats, thank you to Suzuki Motors, thank you to Hummingbird, Minn Kota, everybody, everybody under the sun who has helped this become possible right here. And you know exactly who you are, thank you. Thank you to my friends, thank you to my family, and uh, thank you to every one of you that watch these videos. So, I don't want to ramble on anymore. If you have any questions about new boats, used boats, dock and lift programs, call the folks at Intune Marine. They're wonderful people you will not regret starting a relationship with them. So, yeah, I'm excited. Spring is in the air. I'm ready to catch a bass out of this beautiful boat and I'm ready to name it something new. So if you guys have any names that you'd like this boat to be called, please comment them down below. And yeah, I guess there's nothing left to be said and stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. Move ahead, oh my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead. Oh, my pretty baby.